All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you um, using Moonlight on the Amazon Fire TV. Now, I've already set this up and got everything configured and paired up, so I've got Steam running there in the background. Um, let me just start from scratch. So I'm just going to quit out of Steam. There we go, so that's it from a fresh start, okay? So if we load up Steam, um, now the way I've got this set up, there we are. Right, so the way we've got this set up at the moment is with Steam Big Picture. Um, I mean, right now I'm controlling this from the Amazon Fire TV remote. Um, just to go through your library and make any adjustments to the actual setup there. Um, now we've got a number of different things. I was just playing Portal 2 there, so I'm just going to quickly resume this just to show you how it loads. Now we're playing at 720p with 60fps. Um, if you put it up at 1080p, it just doesn't stream well enough. And it does stutter a lot because we're going over a 5 gigahertz connection at the moment. Um, I mean, if you've got wired on both sides, you'll probably do a lot better with it being set up like that. There we go. Okay, so you can still control through the menus with the actual Fire TV remote. I think it's just a standard Bluetooth remote that connects it. And I mean, input lag, there is pretty much none against my PC and the actual what's streaming on display on the Fire TV. Um, so we're just booting the single player there. We're going to challenge mode. There we go. Now, I mean, the delay from this, there is very little delay. I think it's like 45 milliseconds um, on average throughout the stream. And I mean, this is going over 5 gigahertz. If you're just using a standard router without a 5 gigahertz connection going on 2.4, it won't be as good. But, I mean, if you drop it down to 30 frames per second, you should still get a playable frame rate through here, you know? Um, I mean, like, it's smooth enough to play. I mean, you can't play with a Bluetooth controller directly on the Fire TV. What I have been doing is, like, um, pairing up a wireless Xbox 360 controller for my PC um, and just streaming the game from that. And I mean, it works pretty much anywhere in the house there unless it's out of range. You know, but generally, as I say, like, having my PC upstairs with my wireless controller connected downstairs, it's absolutely fine. There's zero input lag across that. Okay, so I'm just going to quit out of this and switch over to a different game there. So I mean, quitting on here, seeing as soon as you quit, it doesn't drop back to the main game street page, it'll go back to Steam Big Picture, which is absolutely spot on there, I mean, to go through stuff, so I'm just fire project cars there. That. Alright, here we are. We'll move the mouse cursor off the screen now. Okay, so this is currently being played through an Xbox 360 controller. I mean, that is streaming straight from my PC and then you can see there's no input lag pretty much whatsoever against it. I'm just going to go into a free race. I mean, this game can get quite a bit loud, so if it just... 
but I mean the actual stream itself is pretty much flawless at the moment there. Only thing I have noticed though is with a slight bit of audio clipping. I mean when you're playing through things and it gets very loud you will notice a clipping on the video. So you can see there, I mean, the game runs absolutely fine. Um, I mean, the controller pairs up great. There we go. And the good thing is, as I say, with it using big, uh, the Steam Big Picture there, you can just stream everything directly through that. Um, I mean, any games that aren't Steam compatible and things, you can pair up using the Nibby uh, Sync Utility um, just to get it all logged up together, you know. But um, generally, everything's on, as long as you make your purchase through Steam, you have literally everything in your Steam library to play. Um, I mean, games that require keyboard and mouse, you can just pair up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse if you want directly to uh, the Fire TV, and should be pretty much good to go there.